Hello everyone, Brace Good here. Welcome back to more of Twilight Princess and my suffering as I go through multiple side quests, explore, find, find hidden poses, as many as I can, and see the lush jungles in the fabulous publication that is Zoo Books. I mean, listen, I'm dumb. But I think at this point, we've gotten through a lot of things we can do. We've gotten through almost all the side quests we can do at this point. Like I said, the last things I need to do at this point from my recollection, is there's a mini game in Castle Town. Yeah, there's one mini game we can do in Castle Town. There is the northern area of Hyrule to scour for Pose, and there's also see if we can purchase out the Mart, which I will, you know, I'll actually take a minute and show you the Mart in question that we're gonna buy out, just for posterity's sake, and also kind of give you some background as to why we're doing this in the first place. I believe it's this. No. Hi, hi, uh, traveling minstrels. How are you? Uh, it's this one down here. Right here. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Welcome. I actually agree. Excuse me, I'm terribly sorry, but... We, uh, well, having a customer in your, sh your store with shoes as filthy as yours can make our clients rather uncomfortable. Why don't you come back once you have found some more polished footwear? This? Oh, that doesn't work. I have to get my shoe shine, I think. Does someone... Someone around here has to shine shoes, right? Okay, I'm gonna just gonna ruin it. So that is... So that technically is a shop. And like I said, it... I'm like they... Uh, you do have to kind of meet specific criteria in order to gain access to that shop. But going in there is a ripoff. Everything costs like... Uh... Five to ten times more than anything else you will ever find. Also, I'm getting a bottle ready. And they also have the magic armor. Only problem with having the magic armor, though, is the magic armor in that shop right now, I believe, costs 9,999 rupees. And I'm going to pop this. Thanks, Barry. Because... To complete a long quest that I started a long time ago when you talked to this game. I remember you, brother. Thanks to you, we're now able to open the shop shop again. I'll give you a special price at Hot or How's 20 bucks? You got it, brother. I'll provide you with some steaming hot water. Okay, now we got this. We need to head immediately south. We need to head immediately south and talk to this guy. And then I think once we do this, I think I'll take a moment to go post scour no i'm gonna do the mini game in town i'm sorry i'm trying to waffle back i'm waffling back and forth on what i want to do hi agatha maybe i could talk to you out here and alleviate some of my headache of what i want to do anyway this is what you need to do in order to get this so it costs a thousand rupees talk to this guy brother he gives a sweet smell of hot spring water took a drink of that i could feel so strong i'd probably get rid of these rocks well, if you want to get through here, you gotta give me that hot spring water you there. You can have it, my guy. Here you go. Just be careful with the bottle. You have a very gentle grip for being made of rock. Gora power, go! Well, I'm gonna have to get working, so you should come back in a little while. And let him work. So I guess for my own curiosity, let me see what Agatha can do up here. Well... Yeah, let's see what Agatha can do. Because she's just out here. Did you find anything fun? Yes, you do. I will. Okay, so not now. So, the next thing we're going to do is a mini game. Like I said, we're circling the drain right now and things I want to do and things I want to get done. And we're pretty close to what I want to get done. So we have one last mini game. And then we're going to see if we can buy out the overpriced market. That's the plan, at least. Uh, I guess I can show off this little bit of text, too. I think Agatha's in. Because I want to have, like, a little bit extra money in my pocket in case I goof up on the minigame. So I can show off this extra text and also... I didn't realize the bugs just showed up in here. That's weird. Hi! I have it actually. Just one though. Uh, here, let me give you this snail as a reminder that I need to get you the other one. 
Oh, is that is that text there like a little nod to the fact that snails can be both genders? Because that's actually kind of cool if it is. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm actually out. Nope. Can't, he can't help it. You are disgusting. Stop existing. <sighs> can't be that discriminatory. It makes her happy. Whatever makes you happy. Don't discriminate. 13 bugs till you have them all. What a coincidence. I need to find three bugs. So that means I have 10 on me to give you. Weird. Anyway, here's the line. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, my wallet it, my wallet does not support all of your bug habits. Anyway, so the minigame in question that I've been talking about should be just up this, so this side of the uh, marketplace here. We haven't, we haven't gone here at all. But it is this tent over here. With this... With this... Cr creative fellow. Also, let me get a quick drink of water, because I know what I have to do here. As I spill half the water on myself. Go, go me. Hi. How's it going? Hey. Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. In this place, you can taste the life of a circus star. And get your hands on a great... On, on gear that boggles the minds. Sorry, no one's coming here in a while. My, I cannot speak properly. It is, it is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. The rules are exceedingly simple. So all you have to, all you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them be all before time runs out. Yeah, rather I'll say name, I, I must say. Step right up, shyness be gone. It's only 10 rupees. Who's up for the challenge? I do it. Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. <laughs> good sir, you are you at the ready? Then away we go. Don't do this game unless you have the hook shot. Also, this game is very solved. You basically have to cling to very specific points, and the and all of these lights will light up in a specific way for a uh, combo, so to say. Oh God, I'm already I have botched this, haven't I? Maybe not. Yeah, I definitely botched this. Because there's definitely a clear-cut pattern to do this. Oh, I was almost there, actually. Ha ha ha! Shabby luck, good sir! What, th what think you, good sir? The road to stardom is rather twisty, no? What are you looking at me like that for? I want, if you want revenge, it's a mere 10 rupees! Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. And I'll, at this point, I'll just cut to the good attempt. Hey, there we go. That's probably not the exact pattern they wanted you to do, but hey, it works. Er, oh, what a happy day this is! The, beauty of a, the debut of a new star! Showers of applause all around! To the star, I shall give this! Oh, that's a lot of arrows! Thanks, buddy! Very well! The next stage will be one created just for you, good sir! I will expire, expire should you decline. Please, you must try it when it is ready! I should remember this. Yeah, so he'll have another game later on, and it'll be all, it'll be very apparent when that game is available later on. But it won't be for some time yet. So that was the mini game I wanted to do. Hi. Well, here's the funny thing you can do is as soon as you beat this game, if you talk to this group of ladies, which resemble the three goddesses, oddly enough, in color, they'll just uh. They'll fangirl and run away. We have fans. Puppy? <gasps> this is mine now. I'm keeping this. This is mine forever. You can never take this from me. Agatha, I'm bringing a puppy to the ball.
This game doesn't like me. Anyway. So we're going to do some Agatha, Agatha things until we get roughly the rupee cap. And then we're going to go back and forth between Kakariko and Castletown and do this. Yeah, it'll be a thing. So I will see you throughout this. Oh, she also gave us a stamp for, I guess, giving her how many bucks? I skipped that super fast. Oh, for getting halfway. Okay. All right, Agatha. So with this, I will give you the rest of the bugs I have in my possession. I am out of bugs at this point. Do not chase me down, demon child. Ladybug, ladybug. Okay, that one's actually kind of pure. Actually, what's kind of funny is a lot of these lines, I think they're used... A lot of the lines that she says are kind of used as the inspiration for her moveset in Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, by the way, Agatha's playable in Hyrule Warriors. Don't ask, I don't want to know. Well, actually, we're kind of at money cap, but, uh... Well, three bugs left, and we have to find all of them. Two will get... Pretty soon here, one we cannot get for a little while yet. Anyway, so let's go check up on our friend in, uh, to the south and see how he's doing. And it hasn't been a long time, so I'm assu assuming he hasn't done he gotten very far, very far yet. But with that, we'll go dump off our rupees. We'll take a minute to go dump off all of our rupees minus like 150 of them, and we'll proceed from there. Uh. I might want to hang it to like 300 rupees, actually. Thinking about it. No, no, he's still working at it. Alright. Well, let's head back to Kakariko for a minute. Head back to Kakariko, dump off some of our money, and then, finally, we can progress with the story. No, we can't, because I still have to do Poe hunting in North Hyrule. Ugh. I'm going to complain for a minute. This is the thing I dreaded the most about doing an LP in this game, is the amount of additional... The additional uh, collection work I had to do in order to completely... In order to get everything necessary to finish stuff. Hey, by the way, he's working now. You're ready to be a family all day, my brother. Seems the young one in my castle has and resumed his business. Life's turned for both the village and the castle town. Okay, fair enough. Hey, how's it going in the shop? Good old buddy, old pal, old friend, old buddy, old buddy, old pal, old buddy, old friend, old buddy, old buddy, old buddy. Uh. Hold on, what did you say? How much did you say you needed? Short of our... Oh! 200? We might be able to do this today. Do you have the go, brother? Today marks the day that another legendary establishment is born. We should travel to Cast Town later. Thanks you for cooperation, Bretta! Uh, let's see if there's another one. I'm gonna head out and head back in and see if there's another trigger for this. If there is, fantastic. If there isn't, boo! Okay. Opening this door. Seeing if there's anything in here. If not, I will take... Uh, hello. Nope, that's it. We're done. We have finished it. We have finished the uh, donation side quest. I have so much money on me. I don't know what to do with this money. So I guess now I'm going to take a... I'm going to take a small warp break. Head as far... Pretty much head into as... Well, east Hyrule and go north as much as possible. And from there we'll... Uh, from there we'll see whatever pose are left available out here. So I guess I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to head up to this area and see if any pose pop up at night. And I guess I'll continue on this path a little bit here too. But hey, after all that mess, we can finally go towards story. Oh my god. Damn it, man. I, I'm in the middle of something. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of some soul searching, if you wouldn't. Wait for Malamart. Well, Malamart, huh? Have they finally taken over the corporate greed? 
Onward to mail! Uh, you do that. Well, Mallow, I hope this is important, because you are interrupting my important business right now. You're on my time now, mister. Mallow Mart is the hero, the hero of discounts. It's finally open in Castletown. We've got all we need for that upcoming trip. And we offer it a breeze, an unbelievable price. Grand opening special, magic armor. Limit one. Act fast, heroes. Well, isn't that nice of him? Anyway, let me... Let me wolfy boy. And let me get out here to the middle of the lake. Actually, there's a couple things I remember we can do at this point. So, we're going to have... Everything's going to be swirly. Kind of doing a whole swirl effect, but don't worry. We'll be getting to stuff later. I think there's a Poe up there. Oh, go back. Got him! Look at that. Perfectly executed. I want to say there's another soul, there's another soul up north there. So I'm going to take a quick run up to this nor that northern area hope and hopefully I can see something. Oh, thunderstorm? That's bad. For you! Well, I've, I've fresh run on a pose, pose to hunt down for now, but I do remember this as I was coming down this pathway. I don't know if this has any uh, importance, or if this is literally to get at this bug that the game thought you couldn't get at for some time. I think it's literally just to get at that bug the game thought you couldn't get at for some time. Well, it's not unfortunate. Oh, hey, there's something down here. Hold on. Let me down. I'm exploring, dang it. Alright, so the last thing I want to do that is side quest related that I want to get done before we find the story and get that kicked off is stop at Giovanni's. Which, it's nighttime, but I think we can do progress anything from here on forward at any time of day. Also, the cats don't care if you turn into a wolf here. But yeah, this is Giovanni's place. So let's go dig in and pay him a visit. Now things are, you know, a little more happier spirits. I've already forgotten the voice I gave this guy, but uh, whatever, we'll roll with it. Hey, I did a lot of things for you. Well, you you move. This, you did it! I can move again! This is all thanks to you, Rocked. I have to thank you. Uh, will this do? Oh, he has the last bottle. He has the last bottle. He also has great fairy tears, which is the same thing as the rare chew jelly. Oh, I could hear you get this stuff in the cave in the western edge of Gerudo Desert too. But my body's still golden. Does that mean my soul is still not whole? That's strange. Maybe we need the souls of 60 ghosts. Can I ask you another favor for you, doggy? Can you just feed more ghosts? Just 37 more? Eh, be tough finding those creepy crawlies, right? Take this lantern with you. This mysterious light will light up when you... Oh! So we got two items for that. Also his cat. Where's his cat? His cat, his cat, his cat. His cat will be hard to find in this mess because this cat is also gold. Also, this is full now so you can't go underneath. Oh, there's his cat. Hello. Hello, I fixed my master up, right? I owe you. Name's Gangle. I'm the leader of the cats outside. Well, now that I can move, maybe I should go outside and breathe some fresh air. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to push the matter. So this is something else I know, is that if you get, uh, I know, if you collect all the Poe souls and then talk to this cat, he'll help you with any future money f troubles you might have. Well, I'll just say that to leave it a little bit mystifying. But with that, and the lantern. I wonder if this lantern actually can light up places. Hi! How's it going, everyone? Oh, it's its own item? Neat! Well... I need to be a human for this next part, Minda, if you don't mind. Let me look at this item. Yeah, but yeah, that's all four bottles. We have acquired all four bottles that we need, which is fantastic. Also, that lan that ghost lantern is going to help me so much for finding Poe's in the future. Listen, big, big kitty, no. You're adorable, yes, I'm well aware, but here's the problem. I can't right now. Did Time just passed in Hyrule Town. I'm perplexed. Anyway... Well, Tama, it took me an entire week, but I'm home. 
Help. Hello, Francine. What are you... Oh, by the way, I've... This guy just... This guy is like Big the Cat in this game. He just appears around places. Sometimes a little easier to find, sometimes a little not. Hi, Talma. Oh my, if it isn't Link. Your voice is hard to do when I'm at the end of like a three and a half hour recording session. Help. How have you been? <laughs> we'll see. But do you do have good timing? I was just talking about you. Hey, hey everyone, introduce yourselves. The handsome man, young man is the famous Link. You remember what I told you before, honey? Those are the friends I mentioned, the ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the Western Desert, so he's going to check it out. He's an old man named Otter. If you happen to meet him, definitely take, take the time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey. Why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? This is a, they're a jolly bunch. Hi, I'm back to punch you in your schnoz. But it does pay to talk to everybody. Oh, hello there. You must be Link, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Tell me, tell me, like, all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable by at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. And what about you, miss? I'm a she. I grew up in the mountains of my father who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war, as though I w was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the regiment, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak is the mountain to the north of Hyrule. It's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't you know, know much yet, but things happen there that happen in no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Duh! And what about you? Not much of a talker, are you? I'm pushing the matter. It's been some time. Link. You're the guy with the face and the thing! Russell? My wife, U Uli, sent word to me. I have seen the children in Kakariko Village. And, of course, I've also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin, Link. I barely recognized him. In any case, I am troubled by my own inaction. I want to help this cause. These friends here. I have had connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I'm getting, I'm gathering information now. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Well? What do we know? What's the sitch, everybody? Hi. That old Kolja Otter is at Lake Hylia, studying the desert. And that's where we go next. Wow, I actually cleaned out this area pretty well. How am I doing on these areas? Missing two there. Three there, but there's only three. And nothing there. So I'm not doing half bad, actually. And I will ruin it. There are two additional areas that we're going to get to at some point soon. This is one of them. So yeah, we're actually doing pretty well. Anyway. I think with that, we can end things here. So everybody, next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to head back out to Lake Hylia and meet Aru for the first time. I'll see you folks later. Take care.